Hi, my name's John and welcome to the Zone Laser Tag Australasian Championships. Now besides the team event, there are many side events that happen throughout the week. One of these is called Lord of the Rings. Now today we are joined by Ben Baker, also known as Butza, for a little bit of a masterclass on how Lord of the Rings works. So to begin Butza, how does Lord of the Rings run and how does it work in general? Okay, so Lord of the Rings is our uh, only event that we play outside of the traditional arena. Uh, it's played in an open circle, there's no uh, partitions or anything to hide behind. It's about an 11 foot circle. Uh, it's a short game, it's five minutes, and the goal of the game is to be tagged the least number of times in the game. So what you're likely to see in Lord of the Rings is a lot of dodging and twisting uh, as people are looking to where the other player is about to fire their laser and twisting out of the way. You'll see things like drop shots so that people drop just at the last second so people fire over their head. Uh, and you'll see a lot of really good timing. So you'll see players edging up close to the other player so that they can hear when their pack's about to come back on again and then timing it perfect so that they can take that player out just as, the, uh, as they reactivate. So besides some of the physical skills that are required that you explained, is there any sort of mental tactics that also has to be used in this sort of game? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so uh, often what can happen in a, in a standoff situation is two players can tag each other at the same time. We call that a double, uh, which leaves the third player active in the ring and they have to pick which player they're going to target because both of them are going to reactivate at the same time. They can only usually tag one of them, so they have to pick a player. So traditionally you pick the player that you think is winning. However, you don't have a scoreboard in the game, you only find out the scores at the end. So the strategy is to try and predict who's winning the game and to uh, take them out first if you can. And how is it decided who you'll be playing and if you're able to get through, where do you go from that? Is there a round system? Is there a finals? Yeah, this year we're going to be playing a, uh, we play, we start off with four pools of 22 players. Uh, we have four rings here, so we have uh, four ga consecutive games going at the same time. And what happens is we, out of the 22, nine are going to progress to round two. So in round two, we'll have four pools of nine. The next cutoff is really harsh. It's uh, two players from each pool go through to round three and the top ranked third player. So in the round three, we have nine players. That's a really exciting round because basically we just play in one ring, three players play at a time and the other six players watch and everybody gets to see every single game, which is really exciting. It's very much a spectator, a spectator game. Uh, and then out of that, we play, play each other four times. And then at the end, we have a ladder and the top three players go through to a grand final. In the grand final, there's three games are played and it's the cumulative score from the three games. Lovely. Thank you very much, Butza, for explaining Lord of the Rings to us. And that was your masterclass session on the side event, Lord of the Rings.